What are some of the essential show commands to troubleshoot a Cisco router? Hi, I'm Ronnie Wong, and in this episode of How to Get Started in IT, I'm going to show you my six go-to Cisco IOS show commands to troubleshoot a router. One of the show commands that I like to go to all the time is show version. Now with the show version command, as you type that in, you get to see a lot of information. One of the first pieces of information that you end up seeing is the version of the iOS that you're running, which is very helpful, especially when you need to compare whether or not you're running the right version. The other things that it can also show you is, do you have the right image that you're running on your router as well? Now, there are a few other things that it shows you, including the hardware and what is available to you in terms of hardware resources. Also, lastly, of course, there is our configuration register that may show whether or not you're actually in the right register as the router gets started. So make sure you use that show command when you actually are beginning your troubleshooting as well. Now, another one that I really like a lot and my go-to, of course, is show interfaces, okay? Now, with the show interfaces command, you can enter in a interface number. Now, when you do that, it actually shows you both layer one as well as layer two information, showing you whether or not that particular interface is actually on or off. It can also, of course, show you the MAC address information that you end up seeing there. You can also end up, of course, seeing a lot of other additional information as well. Now, that information, of course, includes input and output numbers. It actually allows you to see whether or not that interface is actually performing in the way that you actually want to. And even some other things, such as the bandwidth as well, you name it, it actually gives you a lot of de decent information. Another go-to command is gonna be the show IP interface brief. Now, this is only giving you the essentials of what you need. You normally see, of course, the interface name, you also see whether or not that particular interface is actually on or off. You can also see the IP address. So you actually get all that information and usually that begins your troubleshooting steps as you start to go through. So that is a great command for you to also be able to run as well. Now, show IP route is another one of those commands that we start here. Now, with the show IP route, you get to see the code table. And that shows you, well, where are these routes actually coming from? Where are they being learned from? Are they actually from OSPF? Are they from BGP? Whatever it might be, you actually end up seeing that in the routing table as well. And you also get to see the entire route too. Now, the other thing that show IP route shows, of course, is, well, what routes did you think that were supposed to be there? And if they're not, it lets you know that you aren't gonna be able to send information towards that route as well. Fifth, the idea of show IP protocols shows us the configuration of our routing protocols. Did we configure them correctly? It gives us all that information. It even shows us some details about what is running on the, on the routing protocols themselves. So take some time and look at show IP protocols. It's one of my favorite go-to commands. Finally, my sixth show command is gonna be show running dash config. Now this shows you everything that is configured on the router that is currently running. Usually this is my kind of go-to command when everything else doesn't end up working. Now, when you start looking at it, this is probably the first command that you run to because it's fairly easy for you to compare and realize what isn't on and what is on as well. But this is one of the ones, especially if you're facing a certification exam, you don't want to uh, type in right away because you may not have access to it. But it is one of the basic commands that you will actually use to begin to troubleshoot your Cisco router. If you have any additional Cisco iOS show commands that you use for troubleshooting a router, leave them in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to see all of our videos. I'm Ronnie Wong, and we'll see you in the next How to Get Started in IT.